What are clichés and why do you want to avoid them in English? A cliché is a phrase that is used many times and isn't very original. We would say it's overused. One place where you'll often hear these clichés is on reality shows. A reality show is a television program where they get people who aren't professional actors to do things like cooking or some athletic event or a dating show where you have a group of men and a group of women uh, and they, well, do things that men and women do together. That is a reality show. It's quite common on these reality shows and in real life to hear people using cliches overused expressions that don't really have the same impact or meaning as they did when they were first used. One popular cliche on reality shows is go big or go home. To go big or go home means to put all of your energy and effort into something because if you don't, well, you aren't going to last very long. You aren't going to be successful. Or in the case of a reality show, you're going to be kicked off or removed from the show because these shows are typically competitions where one person wins. You might hear a coach for a football team say something like, go big or go home, encouraging his players to play harder, to make sure that they put all their effort into something in order to be successful. Another cliche you might hear is leave it all out there or a different form that means the same thing would be leave it all on the stage or leave it all on the field. This is very similar to go big or go home. To leave it all out there means to do your best, to try really hard, to do everything you possibly can do, in this case, to win the game or to win the competition. A singer might say, I'm going to leave it all out on the stage. The stage is the place where a singer or actor or performer stands. I'm going to leave it all out there. I'm going to do everything I possibly can, put all the effort I possibly can into this this task. A third common cliche that you will hear again both in life and in these reality shows is to throw someone under the bus. A bus is a mode of transportation. You find it in many cities where lots of people get on and there's a driver in front. It's like a big car. To throw someone under the bus, however, would mean literally, to take someone's body and put it on the road and have the bus drive over it, which of course would kill most people. The expression to throw someone under the bus, however, doesn't mean to kill them. It means to blame someone else for the problems that you might be having, say, as a team. So if there are two people working together on a project, and your boss calls you into her office and she wants to know what happened. You start talking and you blame your other uh, colleague, the other employee. You say, oh, it's all his fault. He didn't do his job. That's throwing him under the bus. That's blaming him for all of the problems, including the problems that you caused. More generally, to throw someone under the bus also means to betray another person. To betray your friend or to betray your country means to do something for your gain that would hurt your friend or your country or your organization. The opposite of betraying someone is being loyal to them. To be loyal means to stand by another person, to support another person or your organization, even when things get difficult. Here at ESLPod.com, we leave it all out there on the audio file.
we go big or go home in our lessons. Take a look at our website, eslpod.com, for our learning options, including now our Apple Podcasts subscription. From beautiful Los Angeles, California, I am Jeff McQuillan. Thanks for watching.